Yeah. It's a record of votes by a council majority and the money that has been wasted by those folks. And on the back of this, and there are copies available if you want them, is a breakdown of all of those votes, which subsequently the Times Herald said I had to provide written documentation to support every one of these. To my knowledge, they have never asked that of anyone before, and in four previous campaigns, I have never been asked to provide anything like that. Their refusal to run this advertisement is a censorship of First Amendment political freedom, and it has a chilling effect on the political process. This is an act of bias, obstructionism, voter manipulation, and an attempt to prohibit free press. It is also a huge disservice to Vallejo citizens and a violation of the fourth estate. As I explained earlier, they refused to print it. The first roadblock was the publication date. Then they said they did not have time to reformat this to fit the space that I had chosen. Then they gave away an alternate publication date that they offered. And finally, they invoked a 20-year-old policy requiring the proof that I mentioned earlier. And when a group mounted a smear campaign against me in 2001, the Times Herald printed six ads for that group and did not verify any of that group's allegations. Times Herald also did not investigate nor request proof. PaleoNews.com subsequently investigated and found all of the allegations to be false. This is a double standard with a policy applied selectively for the purpose of censorship and political manipulation. What is not included on here is an additional $1 million. That was a bankruptcy claim settled with the Vallejo Police Association. And yes, I'm running for office, but this is not about me. Win or lose, it's about protecting one of our basic freedoms and informing the public, and it's all about transparency. So I thank you all for coming this morning and uh, for supporting the freedom of the press that we're all supposed to have. Thank, thank you. Uh, yeah. 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 But why? Why do they have? Why do you think they have this bias? Because they have their own agenda. What is that agenda? You need to ask them that. Well, what well, do you, you think that agenda is? That. What do you yeah. think it is? To to elect candidates that they support. So you think that they are choosing Mr. Davis over you, and that's what this is about? I I have no idea who they've chosen yet because their endorsements are not out. Uh, why has the, or I'm wondering if the, uh, if you've received a copy of the Times Herald advertising guidelines. Yes, finally. Okay. I was told it was a 20 year old policy when I asked to see it. They had great difficulty finding it. They finally did find it and give me a copy of it. And when did you sub but submit the But they have ad? never invoked it in these 20 years. Right, yeah, the newspaper's advertising department says uh, it's been applied evenly to candidates in this race, well, first including is, a city council candidate who's meeting those requirements. First, it has not been required in four previous campaigns, as I mentioned earlier. And the idea that in the middle of a campaign, I could take the time to make the Times Herald copies of every city contract, every city employee contract. Um, so you don't have council, the time to back up statements minutes, you're making in a political council campaign? Minute, council excuse me. Which outlet are you with? Which outlet are you with? I'm, I actually sold everyone in the Bay Area. Are you with the Times Herald? Yeah. OK. Yeah. Thank you. Verify <laughs> oh. that. Yeah. public record. My name's Sam Kershian. I'm running for city council, and I'm here to rebut what Ms. Shiner said. We'll talk later, Sam.
Okay. This is my. Later. This is my. Hey, this is a, hey get your hand up. No, you get got your, your hand in my face, Lou. Oh, I'm not going to shut don't up. Need to be here. Nobody likes you serious. Okay. Be quiet. I'm a council candidate, and I'm here to rebut what Mrs. Shively's saying. Um, every bit of information in this is public record. If the Times Herald wanted to check, he said this was could. the worst paper in the world at a council forum. And how could you expect Excuse them to me, allow an Anna Hurst newspaper? Sam, Sam, don't this touch, touch me. You don't touch me. Don't you touch me. Well, what are you doing touching me? Don't you touch me. What are you doing touching me then? I didn't touch anybody. You grabbed my arm. 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 Stop it, please, all of you. You know what your policy is, and uh, I don't work for the advertising department. I'm just asking questions because I'm covering this event. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As I said, it would require extensive amount of time for me to photocopy all of it, and I will tell you what I told the advertising manager. That's your job, and she said, "Well, we don't have the people." I said, "That's your problem, not mine." Can you talk about the the photograph from the debate? It's a source of controversy. If their photographer was there for more than 15 minutes, he got more than just that one picture. I think that was designed to um, show me in a very poor light, and it's certainly been the opinion of many people in town that that's exactly what it does. So, um, as I said earlier, I think they are biased and prejudiced. They have an editorial section, that's where it should be. Do we have any other questions? Okay, thank you all for coming.